Good morning guys, welcome back to Crack Off. Today we've got an exciting video planned for you. We're gonna be trying some of the most traditional foods in and around the Old Town. Yeah, so we've got a list of different foods to try. We've got five different ones ranging from sweet to savory. Yeah, so our first stop is about a 25 minute walk. So we're gonna head there now. I uh, just wanted to make a quick note of like how busy Krakow is compared to the other places we've been. Um, so Poznan was like absolutely dead. Um, Katowice was quite, me too, was quite busy, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we thought it was busier than what it was because of how quiet Poznan was. Obviously Zakopan is a lot smaller, a lot, lot smaller, um, but it was quiet there. We've come here and it's really, really busy, which is really nice to see. Krakow is the first place I've heard other accents like we've um, yeah, heard we've... Americans, Australians, Irish uh, and British but we didn't, I don't think we heard it at all in other countries. No. Other, other countries, countries in other, other places. Other places. Anyway we're gonna head to our first place. You can definitely tell that we're in more of the residential area of Krakow now and we've sort of come out to the touristy area. Yeah, we're about, it's probably about a 10 minute walk from the old town, it's not too far, but I don't know, yeah, it definitely feels more uh, like locals about yeah, um, definitely. tourists. A couple of minutes walk and we'll be there. Ah, <laughs> the pigeons just fly at you. I think they're very used to. Uh. <laughs> I think they're very used to being fed here, though. Like in the main square, yesterday there was like people feeding them, and then like the pigeons are going on people's hands and things. So I think that's probably why. Yeah, tough. They're not scared. They're not scared of humans at all. So our first stop is this restaurant here called Bar Tagovi. Now this is a milk bar, which is. Okay, so it's a cafeteria designed by, it's like sort of these cafeterias that were de designed by the uh, communist government uh, where it was like subsidised meals and it just made it affordable for Polish people to come and eat. Um, basically you'd come in, get a cheap meal, um, like quick. a traditional Polish meal, it's quick and probably get back to work or something. So we're going to head in. Okay, this is definitely somewhere where like the locals come to eat. So you just go to like the counter and order and then you sit down and wait for your food and then they just leave it on the counter and then you go up and collect it. It's, it's really like homely and like old fashioned, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like I'm in my grandma's house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels like a grandmother's house or a grandmother's kitchen. got two different types. This is the Ruski, which is the more traditional, which is potato and cheese. And then we actually went for a sweet, which is blueberry. So they both look really good. And we've never tried either of these flavors. Okay, I'm gonna try the Ruski one first. So it's potato and cheese in there. Yeah, I do like this. Um, so, obviously the outside, it tastes way more like, I don't know, it tastes more... Homemade? Not homemade, but like, it tastes Fresh. more like what your grandmother would make, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They're way nicer than the ones we had. Where do we have it? In Pavsan. Mm. They're really good. So 
So as well as the Rusky Pro V, we also went for a sweet one. We were going to get the strawberry, but they didn't have strawberry, so we went for the blueberry. They're bright purple. <laughs> Never tried sweet one before. Oh, they don't have much of a smell. Mm. Are they nicer? I can't say that they're nicer because they're so different to each other. Like, the outside doesn't even taste the same as the Rusky one. Okay, I'm not really a fan of blueberries, but I'll give them a go. isn't it? Definitely is really different to the, um, mm. the savoury pierogies, but yeah, definitely recommend. I think these were like literally like a pound or like a pound fifty each or something. We got a plate of the rusky, a plate of the blueberry and we've got this pork snitchel that we're going to try now um, and the drinks and it came to 30 31 is lottie 50, which is literally £5 something. Yeah. £5.80, I think it came to. Which is mad for how much you I think we get. messed up a little bit as well with the pork schnitzel. Normally it comes with sort of mashed potatoes and the cabbage, but we didn't really know what we were ordering. Yeah. But we still got the pork schnitzel, and it's great because we're going to be in a lot of foods. It's probably best that we didn't have the mash with it. Yeah, I'll try it now. Um, the the coating is super crispy and it seems to be quite tender inside. Mm. It does taste like the one we had in Poznan. Um, I don't know how they cook it, but it's good because it's quite dry on the outside, so it's not oily at all. And the inside's really tender and it's like just really nice. Mm. Yeah, not a bad first stop. That was really, really cool. Really good, yeah. Um, that's the first like milk bar that we've been to, and it's like cool to see like the traditional, um, old school, I guess, Polish restaurant or like cafeteria. Yeah. Um, it was really good. Food was so nice. It was really good. The pork snitch was really good, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the um, the pierogies probably the best we've tried as well, I would say. Yeah, those rusty pierogies. Yeah. They're like the most traditional yeah. ones, I think. Yeah. Um, definitely be having them again. We might try and see if we can find another uh, like traditional one, and we might go in more in the week. We found it quite hard to film because it was really cr uh, crowded. But it is a Saturday, so we probably chose the worst day to go. Yeah. But hopefully you can hear us in the video. You should do. Yeah, well that, that's the thing. We didn't really want to, it was quite quiet in there uh, to start off with. Even though there was a, it was full, it was still, it wasn't that loud. So we didn't really want to just be speaking really loud. No. So hopefully it came across right in the video, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, we're going to head to our second stop now, which is a little bit of a walk. So it'll give us some time to digest the food. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go from there. Yep. Okay, so we're at Bar Grodsky now, which is more into the old town, and we come here to try the potato pancakes. It was recommended online to come here for them. It's a really, really cute, small little restaurant. The menu is in English and in Polish, which is very handy for us. So you can have uh, a lot of things really on the potato pancakes. You can have goulash, uh, there was something else, but we just ordered them plain just to be able to taste them on their own. So yeah, we ordered and let's see what they are. Yes, yeah, so it's literally just like a bar. It's called a bar grossky, but it's, it's a restaurant. It's off one of the main streets leading off from the square. So it's uh, like right in the centre of the old town, basically. 
So it's 11 slot here, which is about two pound. Oh, she was two? Yeah. Do I ask for one? No. Or does it come with two? I think it comes with two, yeah. Oh, fair. Mm -hmm. Whoa, they're huge. I know, they're so big. Oh, I'll give two She's very nice. Are you going to try this? I'd be really excited to try this. Oh, it smells amazing. It's like a big giant flat hash brown. Yeah, Cassie's been saying she wants to try this potato pancake for the past couple of days and I haven't really been I've been like what, what is it sort of thing. But yeah, it's literally just like a big fried flat uh, potato. It tastes a lot like a hash brown, it's really good. Mm. It's like a fresh hash brown. So like at home you get fresh browns and like a fresh brown. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> You get hash browns with like a um, like a full English breakfast or something normally, and they they normally just frozen and then just chucked in the oven. And they're a lot thicker back up. Yeah, yeah, but like these are just fresh and fried. Obviously, they've just made them now. Really good. Really good as well. I think with the goulash on top, because we're doing a little bit of a food tour today and we're trying a few different things. We just went for them plain because we didn't get too full. But I definitely think we'll be coming back here at some point and have them with a bit of goulash on. And they're massive. Look at like, this was two pounds. Like two less pounds. Than, like, two pounds. Crazy money. Man. Anyway, we're going to tuck into this. So I just wanted to get a drink now and they had this drink here, which we've seen quite a lot. And it's called Copot. Copot? I think that's what it's called. Copot. 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 I don't know. I don't know, something along the lines of that. Um, and basically, uh, they put fruit into water and then just let it sit and then... With sugar as well. Um, and sugar, yeah, and then you get this sort of juice drink, so we'll give it a try. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Just tastes like a sweet juice. Okay, we've decided that we're gonna drop one of the items because we are getting a little bit full. So we've got one thing left that we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna have to do another Polish food video because there's so many different uh, traditional foods to try. So we'll have to do that. Yeah, and the last one is a dessert. Yeah, so we're gonna head there now and give it a go. It's definitely a lot busier here today um, than it has been since we've been here. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's the weekend. Okay, so we've just come just outside of the old town now. We'll, we're on a street, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of because we'll get it wrong. Um, we're looking for a bakery that sell the next thing. So we're just having a look online now to try and find where it is. Also, so cold. Look how red my nose is going. Right. We need to look for... Uh, the branches are called... Lash Conic and or Mikalek right. on this street. And the thing we are looking for is called a Kremovka. Okay, we picked up the goods. We're gonna Try this when we get back to the apartment. However, first we're going to go to the shopping centre because we need to go to Beer Drunker just to pick up a couple of things. Um, so, yeah, we'll film when we get to the shopping centre and then we'll try this when we get back.
We're just picking up a few things. Bread, chicken, cheese strings. <laughs> okay, they didn't have any beer in there, so we've got most of the stuff we need. We're gonna head to Carry Four to get some drinks. Okay, so we've just picked up like some drinks uh, for later, and we got asked for ID. I can't remember um, the last time I was ID'd, but I'm going to take it as a compliment. Yeah, I never get ID'd anymore. Um, you didn't even have yours on you. I don't even carry mine. But uh, I don't know, because I'm pretty sure that isn't the drinking age in Poland like 16? Yeah. Especially for beer. I don't know. It maybe was. It was when I was in Austria, it was definitely 16. Um, but maybe Poland's 18, I guess. I don't know, but still. Could I have been just because we had masks on as well. I'm 26. <laughs> like, definitely, I don't know take it as a compliment I guess yeah but I didn't even have it anyway so anyway we're gonna walk back and probably just get this edited we need, no we need to try the dessert oh yeah we will get back and we will try that dessert okay we're back in the apartment now and we are gonna try this dessert what was it called oh here we go um, it was it's some sort of custody cream cream of cut from off cut. It Some... says here, uh, it is made up of a thick layer of cream in between two layers of puff pastry sprinkled with powdered sugar. And it's a firm favourite um, for most people. Yes, we should now check in. Are we doing a pack? Yeah. Is there some at all? Is this like cream? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of like custard tart, uh, not custard tart, it's custard tart? Custard slice. Custard slice, that's the one. Okay, it's really messy. I'm glad we did, we tried this here. It's like a custard slice, but it doesn't have the icing in on top. The icing in, the icing. Mm. It's fluffier than a custard slice. Yeah. It seems that I think the custard is more fresh. It's more like cream than custard. You think? Mm, it's, it's, I don't know. It's like an in between. I'm glad we came back to the apartment to try it because it's really messy. It's like. Mm. It's lovely. It's custard. It's definitely custard, I say. It reminds me a bit of a. Um, in that, in that aspect. Not just because it's custard. Yeah, just because it's custard. I'm, I'm liking these custard desserts. This is delicious. This is not going to be the last one of these I have over here. No. And how much was it? You uh, got this one. £1.40, one £1.30. Oh. I think it was eight, eight lab. I think I prefer this to pasta Chinatas. Oh, I don't know. I do, 100%. I think the next thing, we have got one, we've got a few drinks we're going to try. So I got some beer and Kelsey got some... Flavoured cider and flavoured beer, I think I got. Which, I haven't tried this beer before, so we're going to try these in a bit as well. We're going to start editing the, uh, the today's video now, shall for a bit, and then we will be back to try the drinks. Mm-hmm. Okay, some time's passed, we've just been editing the video, it's about like half six, seven now. Um, we're just going to try these drinks, so I've got a Lech, Lech, Lech. I've got these hard made drinks, this one's a raspberry crush. Um, normally I think Tusky would be like the Polish beer that I'm sort of associated with because they sell it at home, but I don't think they sell Lech in like supermarkets in the UK, so. This must not be a twisted cat. That's gone everywhere. I don't think this is a twisted cap. The other one was. Oh, I'm really weak. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, that's decent. It is a twisted cap. Can't do it. I don't think it is. Oh. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Oh, it smells really sweet. Cause you've gone for like a selection of flavours. Yeah, nice. Mm. Uh, I think she's got like, they do loads of different flavours, this brand does. 
uh, the grapefruit one you had last time, uh, just now. Yeah, I'm not a very big fan of beer. So I'm trying to ease myself into beer. And this is a mix of lemonade and beer. So we're getting there. This is quite nice. Um, and she's also got flavours like watermelon and rosé and stuff like that, so... Yeah. There's a peach iced tea one, which is... Should be nice. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, but yeah, I've literally just got lech. Lech? You want to try mine? Is it lech or lech in Polish? Lech would be Welsh, wouldn't it, probably? But then people have said that the Welsh pronounce them. Lech. Lech, yeah, I'd say it's lech, but it could be lech. You want to try mine? I don't really want to try yours. Yeah, it's right. I mean, it's nothing special, but... It's quite nice. Don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet, but no. we'll find something to do because we have got a list of video ideas ready. So we'll end it here. <coughs> <coughs> so we'll end it here. So we'll end it here. So we'll end it here and we'll pick it up for another video again tomorrow.